Hello everybody, thank you for joining my channel. This part's going to be on uh, uh, oats and uh, its relation to pain and inflammation, part two. Um, so oatmeal, when you, you uh, boil it, one cup, um, it's supposed to help you c control your uh, blood sugar levels. Um, and then what it does is it, it uh, increases your, your health by uh, improving the insulin sensitivity that your body is undergoing um this makes it uh, uh relevant to people with uh insulin resistance and then also makes it helpful for people with diabetes in general um the thing is is that there's a uh, um the suggested uh, uh intake of oatmeal that they uh, put on the packages uh it's the serving portions serving size they call it um there's no definitive uh uh proof that any level of oatmeal um causes uh, uh you know the the they don't know basically they don't know the the amount of oatmeal you need to eat to uh to see this uh benefit of uh, uh insulin sensitivity um the insulin resist helping with insulin resistance and also helping with diabetics uh control their blood sugar levels um and uh, um again it, it it's it's good for blood pressure uh it it uh it lowers blood pressure high so it lowers high blood pressure and uh, um another good reason that you should include it in your diet is um it helps with people that uh have eating issues uh are need to lose weight people that are are hungry a lot people that um want to keep their weight in check and uh, not gain significant weight and it does this by uh, uh passing through your uh your stomach and your intestines slowly so it's it, it, what it's doing is it's it's slowly it's staying in your intestines longer and slowly it's bro being broken down uh, by enzymes slower than than other foods um, and what it do does is when it, it you digest it and it's done at a very uh, uh, a rate that is very low uh, what this does is it it helps uh, uh, generate blood sugar which is glucose in a very slow manner so it's releasing it slowly and not releasing the glucose very fast so it, that's what makes it good and what what it may specifically good for people that are working out or people that uh, need extra energy during the day and 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 to extend that this energy production um and that's good for people because what it will do is it will help you control weight and it will help you have more energy and then um you know like i said hunger if you're hungry you need to uh, uh, eat foods that make you less hungry and make you want to eat less. And uh, um, the oatmeal is a great alternative uh, to uh, many, many other things that don't have this benefit that people eat consistently, um, like rice, potatoes. You know, you don't need those things. Oatmeal is a better alternative. So if you're eating rice or, or potatoes, you can switch to oatmeal um and 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 uh you'll have be healthier and you will maintain help maintain your weight help you lose weight if you're exercising which you should already be doing and uh that's it for part three you all have a great day bye